Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The countdown on to Belshir Vestige has begun. We're into game number one of this best of three. We're spawning in the top left location, recently moved back to Korea from Germany, where he was stationed for quite a long time, now representing Western Wolves. An incredibly strong Protoss player who had that notable huge run through the MLG open bracket as well. Very deserving to be here, and in my opinion, one of the favorites to take one of those challenger spots today. Can he do it? It is Daisy. And if you look very hard on YouTube, you may be able to find a video of me getting Daisy drunk on soju while we play 2v2s at his place in Germany. God, that was an entertaining <laughs> afternoon. But his opponent in the bottom right-hand corner spawning as the orange Terran player representing Copenhagen Wolves. An incredibly high Masters player, possibly borderline GM. Very, very strong. We don't often see him at these tournaments as much, and we'd love to see him in more because he's a very, very skilled opponent. Can he pull off the win? It is Heschla. All right. Another TVP here for our WCS Challenger Division match. Already a pretty fast gas opener for Heschla. It does look like he wants to go for the fastest Reaper possible. He got that uh, gas at 12 supply, so cut the SCV so he could have it line up a little bit better with his barracks. Don't know too much about Heshla, but this is a very, very standard so far opening that we are seeing. Of course, this map, uh, Belshire Vestige, as far as Terran versus Protoss goes, it is pretty narrow, but Jorah, so there's a lot of space for dropping, a lot of space outside of the main area, and some, uh, there's actually a little bit of airspace between the third and natural expansion as well, so definitely yeah. going to be in the later stages, working well with all those ramps for Colossi, but in the early stages as well, can do a pretty good job with the drop aggression from Terran players. No, that's absolutely right. I think that it's very easy to look at the minimap on this map and go, well, it doesn't look like there's that much dead space compared to, say, Akalon Wastes, perhaps, or Star Station, or maybe Newkirk. But what you have to bear in mind is that a lot of that space between the bases is actually taken up by sort of landmass that you can't actually step on, like the little islands that we see thanks to this tile set. So there is actually a reasonable amount of space, maybe not as much as some other maps, but definitely still enough to make plays like you were just talking about quite viable uh, on this map. So a lot of strategies open here as we see the first Reaper actually bypassing that Stalker entirely and getting a complete scout off into Daisy's base. Yeah, and interestingly enough, the uh, the second Stalker is being Chronobus out to deal Ooh. with this Reaper, but we have a lot of early pressure coming up for Daisy. The bunker for Heschel is not done yet. This is a super fast aggression from Daisy. The Zealot's going to be able to deny this bunker from being built, possibly the command center. And oh no, there's a Stalker here as well. The Reaper opening with that leaves you a little bit vulnerable to this type of pressure, and Heschel may just... Uh, May just take a ton of damage here. The Mothership Core, Stalker, and Zealot should be able to bust down the front door here. Two more barracks being added on by Heschla, but I gotta say, this incredibly fast pressure from Daisy may be able to steal a very fast game number one, basically moving out right before that Reaper could even get in to do anything. And the wow, the supply depots have been lowered, so he's being invited to pop on in right now, but he's actually just gonna be focusing down that supply depot. A lot of SCVs being pulled by Heschler right now. Excellent time warp going down from Daisy. That is pretty much the perfect position. The Mothership Corps being targeted down. Will he be able to get it off all but one of the Marines goes down? And no, the Mothership Corps might go away at the last second. That's gonna be enough, GG. And with this early pressure, Daisy is able to take game number one despite uh, Heschler doing his best to go in and scout everything that was coming. A very, very quick game one there, Nathanius. What went wrong? 